In today's episode of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1 in Chapter 5, Section 12. Reviewing the Idea of Karma Hi, David. Can you talk about karma? People say different things. Someone said, even after awakening, there is still karma of the body. Does karma equal cause, effect? Then this whole hallucination, the belief in separation, is the karma. But even then, when there is a so-called awakening, the body is still hanging out. It does not disappear. And sometimes it still hurts or sneezes or eats or sleeps. I really do not understand. Do you? Beloved one, thanks for looking deeply at this universal law of mind. It has been written, as you sow, so shall you reap. Giving and receiving are the same. What goes around comes around. Cause and effect are one and there is no gap. This one universal law of mind has seemed to bring harm and destruction to the mind that seems to sleep and dream of a separate world of unreality. Yet this one universal law is the key to forgiveness. If you realize that you always choose your state of mind and that what you choose, you choose for the whole universe, the belief in victimization has been undone. Misuse of a divine law seems to result in miscreation until the realization dawns that in truth, It is impossible to misuse or miscreate. What God creates is spirit, and spirit creates only spirit. If you follow this divine logic, then there is the experience of enlightenment. Truth is true. Love is real. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. The body was a symbol of a separate self that could never be. The enlightened mind sees the tapestry of the forgiven world in which no object or specific exists in and of itself. Illusions are one. Thus, the illusion of a body and the illusion of a time-space cosmos are the same illusion. In forgiveness, there is nothing that is still hanging out, for perception has integrated and is whole. There is nothing outside the mind and the cosmos reflects the light of heaven. Only a blessing remains and distortion has gone. Since karma is a universal law, the only meaningful question is, what is it for? Will you use karma to demonstrate that healing is accomplished? Or to maintain the wish, the wish to be separate? The first use is inevitable and the second use is impossible. It is best to accept the inevitable and release the attempt to make the impossible possible. 
Such is simplicity, for enlightenment is simple. In heaven, God and Christ, cause and effect, are one. From the Holy Spirit's perspective, mind is unified and cannot be broken apart. The law of karma can therefore release or imprison the mind based upon the mind's use of this universal law of mind. Purpose is the only choice. Which purpose would you have it serve? Love or fear? When you align with the Holy Spirit, your answer is love. And the experience which comes from aligning with God is so obvious that you will never doubt.